Hey guys, this is Vince Miller, founder of Resolute at BeResolute.org. I'm so excited to be with you, at least virtually today. And I think we're all encountering a season of life in which we're forced to rethink everything, including how we experience this community. Uh, You know, in this season, which is what it is, it's just a season, we're discovering that relationship and community are not just nice, they're necessary, right? They're an essential part of home and work and recreation and even of our spiritual growth. You know, for men, community comes in all these different shapes and forms. For some, it's sitting regularly at a local pub, chatting it up with buds. For others, it's competitions on the golf course or working out in the gym together. For still others, it comes in the form of of entertainment or hanging out at concerts together or sporting events. But for those of us leading and participating in Christian community, these were those like regular one-on-one small groups or even those leading with power events hosted by our good friend and fearless leader, Keith Tompkins, right? Well, you know, these former luxuries are now not an option right now. They're kind of on pause and they require us to, to work a little harder at building spiritual community. You know, one of my favorite movie scenes of all times is actually in the Rocky sequence of movies. I know there's like a hundred of them, but it's in one of those last movies. It's that moment where Rocky Balboa has decided to fight one last time. And he might be a little old and washed up and worn out, but he proclaims he's got some stuff in the tank still, right? Well, one day he's coming out of his restaurant and his son meets up with him and his son calls him out for his decision to go back into the ring and fight again, feeling like... He lives under his father's identity and that his father's trying to make another name for himself and trying to accomplish something that isn't worth the task. And Rocky comes back at his son and he says this to them. It's it's a great quote. He says, you, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Can't you hear him saying that with his Balboa voice and the slur in his speech? I just love that moment. You know, I think he's right though. We have an opportunity today. We, we get to make a choice. We can either let this thing keep us on the bench or we can get off the bench and into the game. We can choose today to not let this virus keep us from biblical community. We can get out there and we can be a man of action in a time that needs men to act, be a leader be a pioneer, be a fighter. And here's an idea to keep you moving forward. Build a mentorship relationship with just one other guy. That's it. Or if you're brave and bold, try two or three. Pick up the phone and engage once a week, do a check-in and have a meaningful spiritual dialogue with another guy. There's no reason to let this virus knock us down and out, right? Actually, I got a resource for you here, right here. It's called 20 Lessons That Build a Leader. So I would hope that you would pick up a resource just like this. It's got 20 great short lessons in it, all on leadership. Short chapters, like 800 to 1200 words in each chapter. So it's short for you guys that don't like to read. All kinds of leadership topics in here that have spiritual that have a spiritual emphasis. Just pick this up. At the end of each chapter, it has the build process at the end to engage in conversation. BUILD stands for Begin, Unpack, Inform, Land, and Do. So you don't need to come up with any questions. You can just have a meaningful dialogue around a single topic with another guy and engage him in a meaningful spiritual dialogue. Here's my challenge. Eight discussions for the next eight weeks. So you're going to be in in your home for (laughs) trapped for probably a couple of months. So now is the time to get this resource and keep moving forward today. Accept the challenge and get off the bench and get into the game.